What's up everyone? We have a E92 here. This is a 328XI. It's the same thing for 335s as well. But today we'll be replacing the battery, the original BMW battery on this car with the Walmart H8 battery, which is pretty much the same thing. This was about $130 at Walmart, much cheaper than the BMW battery, and it works great. So let's get right into it. The first, things you, first thing you gotta do is uh, pop the trunk because the battery's in the trunk. And then when you enter right over here, there's a little knob. Put the light on for you all. You turn that knob counterclockwise, 90 degrees. Pull up. Sorry, I got distracted, but yeah, you pull up and then you pull it right out. And then this casing comes out. And then we see the battery right over here. And I can tell this is the original BMW one because it has the BMW logo on it. But our next steps are pretty straightforward. All you really need for this is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and an extension. And I also use a driver just to make it a little easier on me. Where did I put my tools? Here it is. So I got my 10 millimeter on the little extension. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take off this little brace right over here that's kind of covering the battery up. It's pretty much the, uh, the foot for this cover. So the cover weight doesn't come on the battery. So just two 10 millimeter bolts. I'll crack that one loose, crack that one loose. And that comes right off. We'll keep, kind of keep it with the cover. Our next step is to disconnect the negative terminal, which is right over there. And again, that's on with the 10 millimeter as well. You gotta loosen the 10 millimeter up all the way, just enough to where you lose some tension on that terminal. The negative will pull up, and then you should lose your trunk light. So make sure you have some other lighting. There you go. We're gonna move the negative terminal out the way. Cool. Our next step is to disconnect the two little connectors that are on the battery. To be honest, I know exactly what they're for, but <laughs> I do know they gotta come off. So I just kind of push down with a little sc screwdriver inside the little hole. They slide right out, it's pretty easy. I'll move that one off to the side. This blue one I'll move off to this side just to give us some more clearance because the hard part is yet to come. And then we have two more things before this battery comes out. Firstly, our positive terminal is right here, the bolt for it, so we gotta take this cover off. A little mini screwdriver to pry up on this little tab. We'll release that cover. That's the tab I was talking about. And expose the terminal screw, which again is another 10 millimeter. So we can loosen that up next. Always make sure to do the negative first so you don't short circuit anything on accident. And then to take off this whole little assembly, this is actually clipped onto the battery. So what we gotta do is if you wanna come a little closer and over, we've gotta unhook this. So what I like doing is taking a little flathead screwdriver and going underneath and out. I could probably do it with my mini screwdriver. So kind of going out that way. Would be better with the bigger screwdriver, but. I'm pushing down and lifting up just like that. And that releases on one side and do this Kind of the same thing on the other side. So it lifts up. So now it's released off the battery. Now I'm just gonna keep on turning and lifting until, yay, we're fully disconnected from the battery. And these are the little clips that we're releasing. All right, now this is out the way. We should have enough movement to get the battery out. And now we have one more thing holding on this battery. And that is the battery hold down, which is right over here. This goes all the way down and I'll kind of show it to you when I release, uh, when I take it out. But again, it's a 10 millimeter. Just loosen that up until it comes out. Should be able to get this with my driver. There it is. And that's what we got. If you just want to come to this battery real quick, I'll show you how this works. Essentially on the side of this battery here, it just, those three little one, two, three, three little indents, this just kind of hugs that and keeps it down. It's a pretty simple concept and there's a hole that uh, this screws into. So put that up so the bracket stays in place. So we'll put this off to the side. All right, are you ready for this guys? 
Here's a little trick I learned over the years to take these batteries out completely. Now nothing is holding that battery in place. We simply just have to lift, kind of move this out the way and just wiggle it out. Lift up these handles. And the best way that I found, uh, just by doing this for so many times, is grabbing these while crossing your hands. So my left hand is gonna be here my right hand is going to be here so this is what i mean by crossing and simply just lifting up try to use your legs not too much of your back you do have to use some strength so uh if you're not strong enough lift some weights just kidding but so i'm crossing my hands so yeah left is here right is here and i'm just going to kind of yank up hope that all this stuff stays out the way and just pull out and that way so let's give it a shot here one two three wait no yeah, one, two, three. So if something gets caught up, you kind of just have to move it out the way. There it is. So I've done that. I remember the first time doing this battery, it took me like 30 minutes. My back was hurting after. And again, right, just cross your hands, pull it out. And you saw I got that on like five seconds. Let's take the battery out and just compare it to the Walmart battery now. We've got the two batteries next to each other. As you can see, they're pretty much identical in size. One thing I did forgot to mention, and I'm sorry for that because I think I took it off before, or it broke, <laughs> was the vent on this battery. I think it was just off already. So just make sure this doesn't break. I have broken this before. It simply just pulls out of the battery. And then you saw that hose. It has to go back onto that hose. And it's just a vent because the battery's kind of cased up in the back. That vent leads to outside. So don't lose that. We're gonna put that out off the side here. But yeah, the two batteries are here. This one is 700 cold cranking amps. This one's 900 cold cranking amps. I know people freak out about coding the battery once you install it, and I'm going to. I have my Alta here with me to code the battery. But honestly speaking, guys, you don't really have to code the battery. The only time they say you have to code the battery is if you're changing from like a lead acid to an AGM and they have different charge rates. That's when you really want to code it and let the computer know that you're making that change. But both of these are lead acid. A BMW white top battery is a lead acid. If you had a BMW black battery, that's the AGM one. The Walmart one is lead acid. They've got pretty much identical charge rates. I know because I've done this before. So honestly, if you don't want to code it, that's fine. But it's also nice to let them know the computer, let the computer know there's a new battery in there so it could just reset its little service life or whatever. So I'll show you how to code in this video, but just for heads up for your DIYers at home that don't have all these fancy schmancy scan tools or pro tool or whatever, you don't need to code it. You could just run the new battery. All right. Take the caps off. I haven't installed one of these Walmart ones in a while. I forgot how the vent works. I think this is the vent cap for one side, the one side you don't use. Does it come with a new vent? I forgot. No, I don't think it does. So the vent's gonna be on this side. So we'll take our old vent tube nipple thing and put it back on this side. So then we can attach the vent tube to that. The other side, this battery comes with a little vent cap. So we shall, if this is gonna work with me. There you go. Shout out to video editing. <laughs> take that off. And then uh, just cap it off on this side because we're not going to be using this side. That's good enough. And we're ready to put this battery back in. So the negative side is going to be closest to the tail light. So we want to put it in like this. That's good at it. Time to lift. Use your legs, not your back. To put it back in, kind of the same concept. We want to go in on that angle. Make sure that this is kind of out the way. Do the best you can. Just let it drop in there. Let's see if I can kind of hook this away. Go like this. All right. There you go. Boom. Drop the battery in. We'll put this down. And before we put the terminal on, I think it's the best if we just uh, put the hold on in place. So let's seat the battery the best we can. There you go. It's fully seated down. Grab our handy dandy hold down. Remember it goes like that. 
I just stopped the video because I wanted to show you the hole down hole. It's right over there. Hard to see, but because there's no focus, but there it is. So you want to get the hole down down there. Idiot, guys, I put the vent on the wrong side. Oops, apologize. So let's pop those real fast. Ah, yes, now I had the vent hose hooked up the right way. <laughs> Whoopsies. Then we'll put this cap on this side. There we have it. What I'm doing now is just making sure, because I can see the battery, making sure it's lined up pretty well with the clamp. Looks like that's the spot. Got some few threads on there. I'm just going to drive that in. Yep, no, the battery's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and put the positive back on. Remember, you want to do the positive first so you don't cause any short circuits. We'll put this handle down. I don't know, I don't remember if this clips onto the new battery, but even if it doesn't, the terminal will hold it down enough. The new terminal in place. Oh, it does clip on. So to clip it back on, you just gotta push down right here. You heard the little clip. This one, I already, I already did this side. And yeah. Oh, this battery has a nice clip too. So you want to try to get it up the low angle like that, perfect. All right, the positive terminal right over there. We're just gonna snug that up now. And again, I didn't wanna go Superman tire on this, just snug it up. I think it says 15 Newton meters. I don't know if that's for the terminals or not, but boom, 15 Newton meters, close enough. This ain't going nowhere. This is on there. Let's go ahead and put the <coughs> these two back in. This blue one goes right here. The red one goes right here. All right, we have two more. Two more steps essentially. Let's put the negative back on. There will be a little spark, don't be alarmed. It won't hurt you. It may hurt your feelings, but it won't hurt you physically. Ah, look at that, we got light back in the trunk. <clears throat> All right, negative terminals back on. Again, we'll snug that one up. And voila, if you look, we got trunk light again. Our battery is hooked up. Let's finish this job off, guys. Where's my little battery hold down thingy? I don't think I forgot any steps, right? Watch me look back at this video and forget something, but <laughs> I think I got everything. This goes like that. Oh, yeah, let's cap this off. Oop. Again, you just gotta snug them up. Don't go too tight. You don't wanna snap them, they're only 10 millimeter bolts. So then we got battery power. This is just sitting in there. This wasn't attached to anything. Don't know what that's for. Put this cover back on. I put this edge in first. This will go back. It goes from up and down to 90 degrees counterclockwise now. Lock it in place. Never have a problem with these. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Clockwise. So nine degrees clockwise goes in place and boom, battery is in. If you're not coding, you're done, guys. Let's go ahead and see if this car starts. Might as well. The key. Yay! The car starts on its own now. If you watch my other videos, uh, the battery went bad. Science for batteries going bad. Lower motor stops working. This should work full blast now. I lied, it didn't. Oh, there you go, yeah, it's working now. Oh yeah, good stuff that this is turned on. If you do have a four x four, you'll have these four x four lights on to, re uh, to reset that. All you gotta do, make sure you're on a level surface, turn your wheel all the way to the left, and then all the way to the right. 
and you'll see these lights just magically disappear. See that? Boom, they're gone. Those warning lights are gone. So that's all you have to do to reset the all-wheel drive system. Floor motor is back, car is running, and the battery is good. I changed my mind. I'll make another video for the coating. I just don't want to make this video too long, but it's pretty straightforward. If you coded before, just go into the battery settings with the BMW, but you saw, I didn't code the battery. The car is running fine and it will be fine. I know multiple people who have done this and have been fine for years going. So I hope this video helps you all. Uh, I know that took me a long time to learn these tricks. So I thought I'd share them with you and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If this helped you or if I'm doing something wrong and if you have a better way of doing it. Thanks for watching until next time. Peace.